Hello. I don't know how it happened, but more stuff happened. So what's up? Today it's Spotify laying people off. 6% of their workforce to be precise. But it's okay because apparently the laid off employees are going to get Spotify premium through March. Dear God. To be clear, it is increasingly obvious that these layoffs are not for financial reasons, therefore enforcing dominance over the workers. But what else is new? In obvious but why news, Netflix and Bumble are teaming up to formalize Netflix and chill, I guess. I don't know. That meme is so tired. Apparently they're going to add some game that will help you match with people who have similar preferences in Netflix shows. You know, really critical stuff. Some high-level FBI official has been charged for doing a whole bunch of bad stuff. Money laundering, colluding with Russian oligarchs to do things, and do just generally things you wouldn't want an FBI guy to be doing. There's a lot more to this story that I'm gonna talk about because I have other things to go on, but it's it's a big one, trust me. Like, this dude was involved in the whole investigation about Russian collusion in 2016. It's a mess. So apparently people, and by people I mean Tucker Carlson, are mad about M&Ms or something, and so they're getting rid of their mascots and instead bringing on Maya Rudolph? I do not know. I do not care. It is almost definitely a marketing ploy in and of itself. The FDA is suggesting that maybe we should move to just a yearly booster for COVID, kind of like a flu shot, but for specifically COVID. If you haven't heard, we're in a pandemic, still, somehow, and people aren't getting their vaccines, so, you know, th there it is. But their take is that there's enough general immunity going around at this point that a yearly booster shot is probably all we really need and can maybe keep us from getting all the different variants? That said, the vaccination rate is up to 80% for at least one dose. Four more right-wing terrorists have been charged on all counts for January 6th, including sedition. You know, for the for the sedition they did. Jails are bad, but so is right-wing terrorism. Crypto company Gemini, which does something, is laying off 10% of its staff. They're citing bad actors in the crypto space for making everything so crappy. I'm still looking for the good actors. I, I, I haven't found one yet. Okay, this is, okay, speeding things up here. The Supreme Court is seeking more input on two cases that would affect Section 230, which is the thing that all the right-wingers are currently upset about with publishing online and whatnot. In summation, Section 230 gives broad protections to social media networks for what their users post. And there's a, there's a subsection of people who think that this is just allowing them to censor right-wing opinions or, I, I, I don't know. They, they think that it's just a, it's a boogeyman. Hot take here though, we should get rid of section 230, but not for those reasons. It is my personal opinion that you should not be able to have a social network with millions of users in the first place, he said on a social network with millions of users. Chess is going wild right now. Chess.com is seeing its most users ever, so much so that it's crashing their servers. While there's a lot of different reasons why this could be happening, they're mostly just, just hype about it. So I guess it's time to get good at chess. Some hospitals are starting to charge for emailing your doctor, saying that it's, it's a medical consultation, I guess, so you better pay for that. OpenAI is going to be testing a pro version of ChatGPT. It's going to cost $42 a month. And also Apple's making a VR headset. We knew that, but more details have come out and it's going to do a lot of things. It's all rumors right now, but it could include hand tracking and eye tracking and having virtual conversations with other people and whatnot. VR stuff. My favorite thing from this reporting is that there's a lot of people talking about how it's going to have an iOS-like interface for the VR headset. Like, d d what did you think it was going to look like? There are a few things that are free in this life, but sharing this video is one of them. Thanks for liking, commenting, sharing, watching, blah, 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 blah. Have a good day. See you tomorrow.